guys happy thanksgiving um get my charcoal started i am doing indirect heating with my cooking okay i'm gonna have the charcoal on one side and cook my meat on the other side it worked out very well for me because honestly i didn't realize this having the heat very hot on one side you can actually cook any kind of poultry with no charcoal or anything under it so this is my thing i love to grill so yeah i'm getting everything together get my get my grill together the heat is on okay so like i said um having the heat um in a charcoal on one side the one thing i did realize is that you have to keep that side very very hot but you can cook anything having the top on it and grilling any kind of meat is just like having the oven don't think it's different it's just like i said you're not really having like oh, when you're switching the, the heat just stays you preheat the oven get the fire the charcoal hot get the fire going once the fire really really is good you actually put the top on it while there's no meat or anything on it and it's kind of like preheating your oven but you're preheating your grill so that as the poultry or any kind of food that you have cooks um, even though there's charcoal and fire on one side the heat will cover the entire grill like it will the heat will go all over so as far as the fire is concerned the meat can be on the other side and the charcoal on it but it will get taken care of it was such a pretty day today i just really was enjoying myself had a cold beer just having a super great day the day before thanksgiving um, preparing the thanksgiving dinner these pictures were taken some on an accident i just like i'm just in here because they were gorgeous. Okay, so we got the beer chicken. Now, look, you're seeing the product looking really good right now, but I had some trouble. I was struggling. Okay, the beer was falling down. I realized that you have to have the beer has to be half full. Half full, mind you. And it's indirect heat. As you can see, the charcoal is on the other side. And even the little time that was here, because I couldn't put the top on. I don't know, because the chicken was too far to the edge. My son was like, hey, the top should be out of the chicken. So the chicken was like about to fall. I was freaking out. I kind of maneuvered it, got out of the can with beer in it. Look at the back of it. There's no charcoal under the chicken, but you see that's already cooking? Do you see it's already cooking already? Look at that. Already getting brown. So the concept put the top on, I was like, okay, I gotta figure this out. I gotta put the top on it because that's what the whole beer chicken is about whatever they show the top yeah you see the how i'm just really showing you how it's cooking and there's like no charcoal under it i was really proud because of the season that i did the seasoning i'm gonna really put in the description later but the season that i did was pretty the same season that i did with the brine and everything um just a little more i made my own brown but well, i flipped the uh, turkey legs but i made my own my own little rub but i made a little rub for this one too but you can see the skin is just turning super brown because i ended up taking the two people the two chickens and have and had them both holding each other up the one thing i will tell you guys that as you're cooking stuff like this um i had to keep adding not a lot i add a few more charcoal keeping the charcoal hot because even though you're cooking the indirect heat you want that side to be really hot so that everything cook look how pretty that is oh my god oh grill master beer chicken in the building <laughs> it was really doing and I, look I'm, gonna, I'm i'm about to tell you this guys rosemary on chicken mm. that's all i'm gonna say yes so even to a point where the chicken kind of like fell i just thought i just said look you know i'm gonna fall down, fall down. the skin was like so getting so crispy like standing up the way it was so i had to like just seriously just get in there i couldn't i just let it fall down so it couldn't open look at this y'all look at this look at this i mean look broke apart look at that juicy juice was coming out of it before i even look at this Woo! i'm telling you guys this yes That beer, this stuff is so juicy. It is ridiculous. It just broke apart. I just literally had to put it in the pan because it just broke apart like that. You're talking about the good, good meat. 
delicious. All right. So, beer chicken is done. So now we got to get ready for part two, which is the turkey leg. So, as you see, those two chickens ate that charcoal up. So we're going to add a little more. The heat is already on. As far as meaning that the charcoal is hot, it's still hot. I'm going to do what I normally do is, is, is if there's nothing in there. But it's not going to be like that long wait because it's already hot. The grill's already hot. You know, I can go ahead and get started my next my next dish. You know, because like I said, it's, it's hot. I got to get things going. Turkey legs take a, little, take a, a lot longer than um, chicken. So, I really want it to be hot anyway. Because I got a lot of turkey legs I'm going to put on the grill today. So, like I said, I'm going to do the same thing I always do. And being that I have extra fluid here, <laughs> y'all yeah, know how much is flame. I'm like, I'm just going to pour all this on here. We're going to make this hot, hot grill for your turkey legs. Let's get, let's go. Let's go. Especially how great the chicken came out. I'm like looking forward to getting this. Yes. Okay. So this is my brown sugar, brown sugar rub that I actually end up doing. I need to add this to my description. I made a brown sugar rub, but this is in the refrigerator after the brine. The brine video is up. So I actually did a brown sugar recipe. This sat in its own season that I made up. Put to, I'm sorry, put together for hours before I even put this out. You can smell the brown sugar, the cinnamon, brine, everything. You can smell it because I'm telling you, that brown sugar makes like almost like a sweetest barbecue sauce. And then the season that I did, I mixed. Oh, and that rosemary. I can just smell it. Yes. Mm-hmm. You see that heat? And do you see that seasoning? I had a little bit of seasoning left in the juice. I poured a little bit on there because I think I'm going to the turkey anyway. So get some of that juices in there that I had left over. I just kind of poured it all over all the turkey. Um, I don't think I got that on video, but look at that. All that seasoning, you can even see it. It's set in that bag. That brown sugar rub that I kind of made up, put together. Okay. Look at that. Mmm. Already. The indirect heat, once again, has proven to be a great way to grill. Had to turn the heat up. I'm telling you, the indirect heat makes you keep that fire and, and fire going. To keep that meat going. It's really doing great. This is going to be a great Thanksgiving. They're going to enjoy these turkey legs. The brine to the rub they're going to enjoy this yes i enjoyed cooking it i will be honest so i hope you guys enjoyed me i'm letting you know what i'm doing uh here we go easy beasy ragu macaroni cheesy this is really quick boil some noodles i usually add some garlic salt while it's boiling add some garlic salt some other seasoning whatever you want to add to it some tony and then the ragu cheese, put in the oven for an hour, hour and a half, two hours, how you would crispy you want it to be. And then you have macaroni and cheese. It's very easy to make, and it tastes like you came out of Stouffer's Box or a restaurant. Best macaroni and cheese, I'm telling you. Of course, you add your salt, pepper, whatever your flavor is. But I'm telling you what I do. Um, you saw how it's just easy. Very easy macaroni and cheese. So I have my macaroni and cheese. Um, we have the beer chicken that's broken up into pieces. Look at this. Look at this beer chicken, baby. Just broken up in pieces. Delicious breasts, legs, wings, everything. All they see in the rosemary, everything I did today. Oh, that brown sugar seasoning is looking so good on these turkey legs. Look at this. Everything I did to prepare for this, it came out so good on the food that I did. I'm so proud. And can I witness my family faces as they tear into this food i will get to the ingredients and post it in my description but i am super excited for thanksgiving 2020 as far as been talking my family i hope you guys are staying home and staying safe um do not go visit stay with your families go in your backyard barbecue enjoy your family or the one you're with right now in your bubble just please stay safe and enjoy and i hope you guys if you have any questions email me hit me up love you bye